And we have an interesting eBay auction. I think we can get a little discussion out of here. I think we can. We can. I feel like I can get less discussion out of this than the last one. I didn't realize you swapped them, but we will do what we can. Uh, and there is a lot of 127 TurboGrafx-16 games um, being sold on eBay. Condition is listed as acceptable. Uh, the current bid is $5,950. Five dollars. This will end tonight on yes. the 29th, by the way. So get in early. There are 31 I, bids. Uh, I saw this brought up uh, last week, and our pal Chris Kohler tweeted about it, saying he just discovered today, and it reminded me, because I should have put it on the docket, and I did it. So this is interesting. This isn't like tw like, like 20 world-class baseballs and 10 Keith Courages and a few bonks. These are mostly all individual games. This is the vast, this is 95% of a North American CD and Hue card library. That's what's impressive about this. About 134 games, about 137 in the U.S. Okay, I was gonna, I thought it was 140. And this says 127. Okay, yeah, it's close. It's, it's like 95%. Yeah, it's close. Okay, it's close. Yeah. It's close. The list is on the site. Here's the thing about it. These were recovered from a fire. They are manual and either CD or uh, Hue card only. I don't and know if that means that the case is melted partially, and that's why there's no cases. To me, it's bizarre. No, that no. would that makes perfect sense. But to me, it's that's not what listed it is. because, like, I you almost never see CD games without a case because the case helps. No, one hundred percent. It's I would say it's because I've seen like games get you know from a fire before, and the plastic just warps and gets all crazy. So, I, so, so these were probably pulled from whatever cases there actually were. But it's interesting though because you would hope that. You can pull the inserts off the back of the. If the manuals aren't burnt up, you'd think maybe the back inserts from the case. Well, in the he side? says that the manuals are pretty bad. So, oh, they don't look burnt up, but you say they're bad. Okay. So he says they are. Okay. Um, so basically, as we've said, recovered from a fire, manuals have smoke damage, no cases or boxes. They say the Hue cards are pristine and have been tested and they work. Okay. So that's a bunch of loose, good Hue card games. The CD games have not been tested, but he's run the CDs through some software and they have been recognized as readable. However, he can't guarantee that the CD games work. No way to test it. The manuals have received the brunt of the damage. They have spots of discoloration and smell bad. Maybe you can deodorize them or something, or you can just throw them away. Nevertheless, I wanted to put them in the lot and let you decide what to do with them. All the manual covers look good. The ends are singed, and there's discoloration on the okay. back covers. You do Some of these do have, like, look at Military Madness. Like, you can see on the top, there are, like, burn marks coming in. Sure. Some do not have that. Some definitely do. So, depending, I guess, depending on how close they were to the fire, extra protection, I don't know. If some were in the box or not. Sure. Um, it would have been nice to have seen if they existed, just the inserts pulled out, even if they were damaged. Because you can always find another CD case and put the spine and back into that. Sure. That's just a thing. Or maybe they didn't have them. Like, we don't know here. But either way, this is a strange auction because you are taking a risk on the CD games. And that's where a lot of the value is. There's obviously value in here. I'll just say this. There's no magical chase in here. No. If there's magical chase in here, then this is automatically worth, if just because that alone at this point is worth five grand, just the, uh, the Hue card and the manual, even damage, you get multiple thousands of dollars. Then there's the rest. But this is a pretty fucking hearty list of games. This gets you to where you want to go. If Tama's you're there. Uh, Bonk 3 Terraforming is there. is there. Bonk 3 CD. You said Sid Mead's Terraforming is there? Uh, I'm pretty sure I saw that. Terraforming, yes. yes that's there. multiple thousands on its own. That's yeah. That was the last game I got. That's incredibly hard to find. That was a low production run on that. Uh, you have Dynastic Hero on here. Dynastic Heroes on here. Yep. That's worth uh, at least a couple grand complete, probably at this point. So there's a lot here. Uh, however, not having the cases really, really hurts, uh, especially for the CD games. That that you'll never rep you'll never be able to find loose cases for some you'll never find a loose Sid Mead's terraforming case you just won't you'll never find a dynastic hero case and that's the problem I, um, when it comes to like loose and manual stuff for a popular system you want to collect for that's fine NES Genesis whatever like do it you'll you'll find that um, stuff eventually but it took me five years to find a disc only copy of a relatively popular game for the PC Engine which is um. Uh, Star Parodier. Okay. Um, I mean, and that's in that's in Japan where it was popular. Now take it to the U.S., reduce the popularity reduce. in the print run, and mm -hmm. then try to find something random for it. Yeah, it's just not going to happen. 
I mean, you have Super Air Zonk here. Like I said, this is 95% of the game library in North America. That's a lot of money. You have the, uh, the, the two Valis games. You have games even like Yobro are hard to find. You know, things like that. It really comes down to just like how... how Like, who's, who's this for? Is this for a reseller? I think it's for a reseller. I honestly think reselling is the way you go with this. Loose Hue card games will always sell, and then the cases, the CD games, I'd probably just ditch the manuals. If the CD games work, put them in a slim jewel case, sell them as loose. Uh, a, re sell. a reseller will sell this stuff, and they will make their money back, especially if it only goes for as much as it's listed for right now. Yeah, so, like I said, some of the manuals, some are worth, like, what's, what's, uh, what's that yellow CD case in the front there? Uh, Buster Brothers, that's a bad manual. That's in like the top right of which pick is that? That's a bad manual. Bravo Man is really burnt. Some are not as badly burnt. So, I mean, like they'll be acceptable to people just to have. I don't think you just toss them. Because well, you can go through them. I think yeah. what really matters is if they stink. But throw them in a box with a bunch of fucking fabric softener yeah. sheets and see what happens. You're not throwing out a Camp California manual. That's a hard game to find. Yeah. You know, this whether the CDs work because you refinish them if they were slightly no. If, if, if they're dead, if, they're, if they're not. If, they if they're dead, bit. it's nothing that refinishing them. If, if they got heat damage, refinishing what is, is not uh, going to do anything. We look up CD heat damage, like CD heat damage. I mean, it warps it. You're just fucked at that point. The laser well, gets crazy. Well, they don't look warped. They don't like. I mean, they look. Oh, like I mean, that's what the heat damage would be, though. Sure. I'm just thinking maybe they'll they melt. Them. Yeah, I see. What you're sure. Uh, but they said they were readable in a computer. So I mean, yes. I mean, I think uh, they're doing the right thing here. They're saying, hey, we cannot guarantee this, but data shows up in a computer. Uh, here's an article from 2013 from makeuseof.com. How hot can CDs get before being damaged? Um, this is saying over 100 degrees. You can get there. That seems like that's a little bit low. Um, let me see, let's see if I can find a definitive uh, answer. Most players will only get the temp barely over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, which is not even close to what is required to cause it to burn. Oh, they're talking about the, the, they're talking about the heat inside of a system. Yeah. Okay. So I was what? Say systems get above 100. Uh, this person that saying, is a soldier blade. Jesus. Uh, this person is saying over 200 degrees. That seems like it's too high uh, for that. <laughs> uh, storage says between you should go. It can go between negative 10 and 23 degrees Celsius. What is 23 degrees Celsius? Uh, Got to do the the pat man seventy three degrees now. You can go above that. Um, I don't know. We we need definitive answer on that because that to me is what you know. A fire is obviously above uh, what is fucking uh, Fahrenheit four five one. So you're yeah. getting four hundred fifty one degrees. So maybe it can maybe it can sustain uh, sustain a hundred and fifty degrees, a hundred and eighty uh, under boiling. I don't know. No one take my words What's for plastic? this. But Burnett, if plastic. I had the money to spend on this and I was interested. I would take the CDs being readable in a drive in some way, shape, or form as a good sign that they're fine. Because the damage you're most likely to have with the CD is it becoming warped and unreadable. So if it's readable, it's probably fine. Uh, so the melting point range of certain plastics I'm looking at now, there's a whole bunch of different plastics. It looks like it varies uh, 120 degrees, 180 degrees. There's a bunch of different things. Maybe the plastic on the outside, the cases took took it for the team. They took one for the team. Maybe they maybe they took the the brunt of the heat and 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 protected it. Well, I mean, uh, that's probably what happened, right? They burned the plastic in, and, and that it protected it a little bit. An old Did pal of ours work. An, an old pal of ours from uh, Retroware, uh, uh, Mike had a bunch of uh, his games damaged by heat. Okay. Um, and I believe that some of the CDs did still work. Some of them did not, but a lot of them did because the cases did the case take took the, it. yeah, the case yeah. took the brunt of the damage. So $6,000, uh, if I, you, you put a gun to my head, if this all works, this is worth four times that potentially. Yes. yes. Um, and that's why it'll probably go gun to my head. It'll go for around 10 grand maybe, which will be half of the resale value if for a reseller. I think you know this. A collector might be into this if they just want to play the games. They might, and just say, "I want the collection. I have money. I want to get it all at one time." Here, it's very hard to piece these together individually. Very that's what we're difficult. saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not going to happen. Especially the CD games. And this is where it kind of falls apart for me, though. I think reselling is the best thing you do here. You buy it and you resell it because I don't think the Turbo Graphics is so niche that. I don't think there's anyone out there collecting physical for it at this point with how expensive it's gotten that doesn't want everything complete. 
And the other Alicia me, Case, yeah. And the other people who are interested in Turbo Graphics have long since, or PC Engine, have long since gone to Mister or Flash Carts or something like that. I don't see there being. Again, it's not like a big system with a, a wide swath of people who collecting for it. Sure. This is very specific. I don't think there's a market for anyone to buy this as their own collection. Sure. I think this makes Ooh. most sense if a store can get it for about this price, you sell it all out. Ooh, that cotton CD looks bad. It, I, hopefully that was one of the ones that worked. Did it say certain ones didn't work at all? It didn't say which ones. Um, it says I've ran... The, the CDs. Okay, some more. So it's just funny. The the the, the um the manual in the worst condition is Cosmic Fantasy. You can still buy those brand new. Yeah, I was gonna say bucks. that. That's actually not that big of a deal. That's <laughs> right, so actually the one. Where was the deal? Was that one put in the front of the fire to take the brunt? Um, and we must say, obviously, before, we have to be correct about this. Some of the games like Darkwing Duck. There, there's two of those, and like Bonk Three. There was no case for them, so right, you're getting off a little bit easy. You yep. know, something like Jackie Chan, the uh, later games, TTI games. There's no Soldier some of these Blade. games. Uh, Soldier Blade. How many games don't have cases? Like thirty or something like thirty don't have forty, something like that. Like about thirty uh, are TTI games that don't have cases, something like that. Twenty to thirty. It's not a huge amount uh, like that. Stuff like uh, uh, like uh, God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna forget which ones. But you know what I mean. So like, it's not as big of a deal. Like Bong Three, some of these don't have it. Yeah. Uh, does Hit the Ice have it? I always forget if Hit the Ice is the one that has it, one or I not. I think Hit the Ice does have one. Okay, that might be Could on be the wrong. border. Uh, but anyway, so it's interesting. It, it's You don't usually think... This is someone that had a near-complete collection. I feel awful for them, by the way, because who knows what else was lost in this fire. Right. This is the only thing for auction from this seller. So I don't know how they were acquired. Well, and they also uh, say they have a PCE lot to put up, too, that was also damaged in a fire. Oh, Okay, that Ian's going to be looking at that one. Unlikely. <laughs> Unlikely? I tried to get stuff. You don't want to go in halvesies on that? Uh, but yeah, I, I think uh, like a reseller grabs these, and then maybe they're missing a case here. Maybe they're missing a card there from a case, and they'll piece together like 20 or 30 ones. Because even I've acquired cases over the years without having, you know, without having a... Uh, Hugh Carter. You know, it, it does happen even with Turbo Graphics stuff. I, I find you do find loose stuff. Sure. It's just not, again, for these CD games, good luck finding some yep, of these. It's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. It's not going to happen. You'll be, you'll be, it'll be like, you, you might as well get the PC engine version and stick in the US stuff mm -hmm. at that point just to have it. 